so today we will be doing about the concept of bore magneton so before that uh, let me say a few things the magnetic moment when do we get this magnetic moment uh, this magnetic moment we generally get by three things first by the orbital motion of electron second by the spin of electron and third by spin of nucleus so this more bore magneton concept comes under the orbital motion of electron so let's know what this thing is so uh, suppose uh, an electron is moving in a circular path e or the charge you can say and the distance or the radius is r okay this is our angular momentum l and this is our moment magnetic moment so the first thing what uh, we can observe from here is the current in this loop current what is this charge per unit time the charge here is e so e by t now this t is the time period we know omega equals to 2 pi by t so this t can also be written as 2 pi by omega this thing we will use later so therefore the magnetic moment associated with this associated with this so the magnetic moment associated uh, with this is first of all what is magnetic moment this is the current which is flowing per, uh, through a particular area current into area current we know we got e by t and our area for this uh, circular path is pi r square pi r square as I said, this t can also be written as 2 pi by omega. So therefore, m equals to e by 2 pi by omega, where omega is the angular frequency, into pi r square. So therefore, m is e omega r square by 2. Now here, one more thing which comes is the concept of rest mass of an electron what is the rest mass of an electron when the speed of the electron is zero in relation to an observer that is the relative speed is zero so here we will multiply with the rest mass of electron in both numerator and denominator so this rest mass is represented by me this is the rest mass of electron so multiply it uh, above and down here so we will get something like this e into m e omega r square i multiplied this this place and down here m e so i just multiply in the numerator and denominator so our expression stands something like this for the magnetic moment here now the angular momentum angular momentum that is L is I omega omega we, we know angular frequency I is the moment of inertia it's not the thing we are thinking it's moment of inertia of the electron which is moving this circular path so it is nothing but the rest mass of electron into the path it is traveling this omega so this is our one expression this is our second expression so from these two from so from this one and two this is l equals to this expression and m equals to this expression we will get another relation which is m by L. We, are, we are dividing these two equations so m by 
L or uh, you can say suppose I'm dividing this by this for better calculation easiness L by M equals to 2 ME by ME so we will get this from these two equations so you can see the uh, there is a ratio between angular momentum and the magnetic moment which is constant and this ratio between this ratio between angular momentum and the magnetic moment is nothing but uh, the gyro magnetic ratio gyro magnetic ratio and it's constant so this is one concept of gyro magnetic ratio now according to the quantum theory now this was uh, normally when we did it now according to the quantum theory the uh, angular momentum l is nh by 2 pi right mbr equals to nh by 2 pi suppose this is our uh, this is our third expression this is our fourth expression so according to quantum theory this angular momentum of an electron is given by nh by 2 pi where h is the Planck's constant and is the Planck, uh, principal quantum number is the in integer which can take the value of 1 2 3 and so on so from third expression and the fourth expression so l by m equals to this expression and l equals to this so when i divide this two again as i did in the last case we will get an expression of m equals to see this ll gets cancelled and this m remains so m equals to e by 2 m e into nh by 2 pi or we can further write it as n in bracket e h by 4 pi m e so you can see this part this is the smallest unit of orbital magnetic moment and this smallest portion of the smallest unit of the orbital magnetic moment is said as Bohr magneton which is represented as mu b so m equals to this n into mu b this is our expression now it can be e h by 4 pi m e again when the n value is 2 this is 2 h by 4 pi m e again when it is uh, moved to uh, 3 this is 3 h by 4 pi m e so this keeps on increasing but this is the smallest unit of the orbital uh, magnetic moment which is said to be as Bohr magneton represented as mu b so our magnetic moment stands as n into Bohr magneton so this is our relationship i hope you understood this thank you